Hey y'all, there it is. It's July 23rd. Here's our secret project. Uh, it's going to be a super cart, uh, Daytona, uh, bodywork type, uh, 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 build for John West. Um, yes, he has the lay down and the lay down, uh, is, is coming under scrutiny, uh, in the last, few months uh particularly just this past week i i kind of got tossed into the fray made some phone calls started asking questions and uh they're going to end up wka wise daytona you know is is going to end up moving john and brian I, I guess uh out of the super cart class with their lay down chassis with super cart engines and putting them into unlimited uh which without going into a big long story um talked to a few of the guys in the class talked to the guy that's kind of pushing this rule change thing and he almost sounds like me back in the maxis days to be honest uh which i suppose doesn't surprise me that brian's upset with this um those guys really shouldn't care they run a super cart chassis the rest of the year um yes it gives them an advantage having a lay down at daytona yes everybody could build one if they had the know know how or the wherewithal or they could talk me into doing it for them or somebody else, um, but uh, the guys got guys with with super carts that don't have those options uh, feel a little cheated, I guess. So, bottom line, real quick, is uh, there's going to be some changes to the the super cart classes, and uh, so John's unlimited or the uh, his unlimited cart will be the lay down. Uh, they run at different times, so he can. He'll have multiple shots at the at the lap time and, and speed record down there, which should be a win-win-win for him. They're playing right into his wheelhouse as far as I'm concerned. But uh, so here we are, uh, 23rd of July. They're running Nelson this weekend. Uh, it's probably leaves are falling a little cold probably sometime in October right now because I'm, I'm not going to put these videos up until John tells me I can go ahead and, and release the secret project stuff. But started out... Uh, couple days ago I got the wheels back on it when, when I brought it home from mid-Ohio which was a month ago and I'll explain why I haven't really done a whole heck of a lot in a month um, no wheels and tires were on it uh, no nerf bars no nothing everything was off the car because it had to get underneath the wrap from my trailer that was in the back of my the bed of my truck because remember we brought the um, the old zip cart back with us Ben you know we brought that back with us too, so we had to get both these carts home from mid-Ohio without a trailer so the reason um, we're not, we didn't get right into it a month ago is because we're putting P1 bodywork on this cart. Um, P1 built a, a chassis. They copied the Anderson just like the MSR did and, and, and many, many others. Um, so the P1 body is going to go right on here. Before I could, and, and that's why, you know, I knew it was really the bulk of this was going to be mounting existing unmounted undrilled untested and tried bodywork which was going to be pretty straightforward so it's not going to take too long to get the nose and sides on this car and the driver fairing for that matter the issue is in in the rear where we're going to do our, our aerodynamic bit for daytona and talking to the guy that was pushing for this rule change and class name change and reorganizing what carts go in what class I talked to him at length on the phone and, uh, and I told him what I was doing without, you know, giving him a visual picture. And I told him I want to make the cart. It's going to be an Anderson. It's going to be a super cart. I sent him pictures of a super cart with the with Corey's cart, right? With the uh, carbon fiber P1 body. Uh, I sent him pictures of Daryl uh, Bertram's uh, F1 bodywork uh, from Australia on, on, on a cart. And I think I sent him a picture of... Brian Stockman's new cart, new body, which he's, it looks like a Can-Am car and he's up to his knuckles. Everything is covered down to his toes. And the guy that was bucking to change these rules said, those all look like super carts. That would be legal. So uh, he told me, I'm not trying to, to, to snuff out your, your artistic impression or anything, Robert. Um, just make sure it still looks like a super cart. So we'll be okay. Um, there, there are some minimum and maximum measurements and stuff that we're going to have to be aware of, but we're going to have to lengthen the bumper because we're going to put a single upright in the middle for a, a, a wing. And we're going to put two small radiators like this one here, one on either side of that upright with an air box with a battery powered fans 
little uh, tube, they're fans that are in a tube, so they're very high velocity. Um, it's not like a big, big fan that you would, you would snap onto the, right on the, your radiator of your hot rod or something, right? It's not a big round fan like that. It's a small tubular fan. I think it's a three or four inch blade uh, inside a tube. So it's like a little turbo thing, man. And each one of those, I talked to the engineer and the people that build them. We talked about CFMs. We talked about what we're doing here. And they assured me that, uh, that it would work. So having time to hopefully, knock wood, shake the car down in October at our test day, um, we should be able to ha have time to, if we need more airflow, to, to swap them out. But October, it won't be super hot. It it's, isn't always, you know, so super hot in Daytona. Certainly won't be like it is 100 degrees over there on the, uh, on the back wall today, folks, here, uh, end of July. So um, that's what we got going. But before we can get to this, uh, we got to get the body mounted up. So we'll end up taking, we'll, once we get it on the ground, um, we, like I said, we remove this stuff here and we reset all the, all the uh, uh, pitch of the nose adjustments. These, we left these a little loose here and uh, this stuff we just centered. So um, if John wants to move the, uh, the pitch the nose down, he can and he, he'll be able to pitch the nose up as well. So we're starting right in the middle of that adjustment. Uh, just had to get everything squared away and straightened away, aired up the tires, got all the wheels, tires back on, aired them all up. And what we're going to do is we'll get this thing on the ground out in the driveway on some flat concrete. And uh, John gave me um, you know, kind of a dimension of, of what he wants from, the, from here to the ground. I would say here, but as you can see, there's a little air, air duct in there. So um, we'll set it up and mark it. Where the, and then we'll go ahead and drill things and we'll get the nose bolted on and then we'll start moving down each side from there. We'll probably take the easy side first. While we got it outside, we'll, uh, we'll disconnect some hoses, drain all the water out of the system where this radiator's coming off. Um, well, this gas tank isn't in his way right now, but if this isn't here, there's no need for it to be right up the side of his rear end like it is. So we can relocate it if we, if we have to, if we need to. Um, if not, you know, no big deal. We, it can stay there if it has to. It's not going to have anything to do with uh, us trying to, to lean the seat backwards. We're going to have to alter a seat up pretty, pretty serious, too, to make sure we get him in the, down in the car and, 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 and his shoulders and head down lower. We'll probably make up some kind of wedge or something for the steering wheel. We'll get a smaller steering wheel, smaller diameter steering wheel, and we'll tilt it toward him. Um, we're going to ask him to get in this thing and have his knees up here. You know, we may even have to move some of these pedals for him or something. I'm not exactly sure, but we need to get him down low and not just lean him back. So he's looking at the stars. It, it has to be, it, it has to function. It has to work. So uh, then when we get back here, this is where the cool guy stuff is going to happen. I'm really looking forward to getting into that, but that's it uh, for the first installment. I'm pretty excited about the first installment, knowing that y'all aren't going to see this for two and a half months, probably. This is really cool. Uh, I can film what I'm doing and talk to you like you're right here with me, knowing none of this stuff is going to get seen for months and months and months. So hang in there. Um, they'll come hot and heavy. We'll probably pull it when it's time. All these videos will be, will be recorded and weighted in storage, and we'll just pop, 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 rapid fire. We'll put these bad boys out. And uh, hopefully, God willing, we get some video, onboard video and some trackside video in October of this thing turning laps and, uh, and, and getting some, some driver impression from John. So that's it. Hang with us, man. It's still hot. It's still hot. It's still July. We got the end of July and, and the first two weeks of August are usually a little smoking hot. So we're going to work through it. That's it. Hang in there, y'all. Godspeed. God bless. It will get better. We'll talk to y'all.